It's almost 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, the bewitching hour. And I'm going to show you the cloud uh, that I posted and how you can build your own. I just threw mine together. And I'll show you how it's constructed. It's kind of complicated. I try to keep it, to me, what it really is, is a moving average histogram because moving average crossovers to me look kind of hard to. Ooh, is it crossing? And I see these squiggly lines because I have the line chart. I don't want to see any other lines on my chart, so I, I took the smooth Hakanashi, and I made that a histogram, and I made different widths. Depending on how you zoom out, it can look really pretty if you zoom out. Just I was trying to make a 3D chart. I was tr really trying to build this kind of like... And I could rebuild it. It's, it just entails making like deep blue, finding out the value levels that Windows is using for colors. So really dark blue to, you know, navy blue and just go up the value scale till you get to powder blue. And you could have kind of an elaborate looking, pretty looking, unfold, like we're getting like, you know, hints that you're dying out. These are just uh, one, two, three pretty moving averages typically because once you start to go elaborately out into a five or a seven period moving average, what you're saying is then is you don't want to really get on the train right now. You're waiting for, to buck a wave that's out in space, if you know what I mean. So you're looking to, if you're skipping a stone on the water, um, if you get three good skips, is that better than... You're counting the skips you actually get when you skip on the water. You're not counting how well it's skipped on all threes. On just three only, right? Unless they're grading for that. Um, so... Um, anyway, so I'm looking at them getting this trade. I'm getting buying more euro here. Um, I know the fuck I was saying, but... Oh, the histogram. Okay, so... There's four methods of smoothing a moving average. Even a two-period moving average linear weight, it looks different than an exponential, right? It looks slightly different. You can see the difference in the histogram because you can see the head of the other smooth candle popping its head in. And I think my candles are built on, um, I guess they're taking high and low and close into, into account. I thought it was close only. I could set it to close only, but I think as I look through the code there, yeah, it's price, high, low, close. So you're really taking in the range. Now, if we set it to close, then you just have a line that looks like dashes. But I think that the background, the idea of the cloud is, is that the market has made a profound move and it's either above or below the moving average, the baseline. But these are ridiculous things because if you're trying to make 8 pips, it's different than 80 pips. That's all that's going to matter. Are you trying to make 80 pips or 8? Because 8 should be easier to make in a short period of time because how far away could it possibly, without regard to direction, if you put in a symmetrical hedge at the market with a 3 pips stop to make 8 pips, it's when you execute that. You want to execute that at the end of a move when the market's pausing. When it's in doji, it's time to get in on a hedge. Or it's time to get in on any trade that you have a tight stop where you can start to see, oh, you know, it's Asia. The market's dying down. Where could we possibly go? Okay, two minutes to the top of the hour. So I took this cloud thing that I made a long time ago, and this is the cleaned up version, so there's not any bad code in here. And yeah, this is a USA... Um, Oanda account. I'm I'm working on the FIFO ready. For this is just to save the country, you know. Uh, the the torture of these and and to call them and to find out that this is a real USA demo was brutal. Look at the spread is six pips at this broker. On the pound, it's untradeable right now. Six. I'm getting better spreads on my bucket shop. Look at this nice two. I'm getting the same spread here. <laughs> Swear to God. Bucket shop's beating this right now. So you say what you want about a bucket shop. Now here, I'm going to launch the FIFO already. And the title of this is based on, it's going to buy from 1 to 4K. Here's the deal. I just talked to the guy. And I've kind of discovered it because you can see I'm only allowed to be in one size at a time. I cannot be in two trades. 
and still hold. I cannot hold this duplicate size on any one instrument. So I have this lingering 1K that got filled, with, which I know probably has some gargantuan stop because I know this is a $10 risk. I already know by looking at this platform it's a 10 So I'm already up past my stop on this one. Right, this is the buy limit. And the reason why this filled is because I filled that one first, and when it saw another 4K pending below. So actually the, the, the broker... Like I said this a long time ago, even with a $500 uh, leverage, if the broker's going to stop you out, he's managing your account. It's built in. You don't need stops. There's no such thing as a margin call. These aren't margin calls. They're stopping you out of the whole account. They're not calling you and go, dude, you got to add or you're going to sue you. They call it a margin call, but it ain't like a real one. These two tickets I know are above my risk right now I could take them off the table they're also big and if I did that then I'd have to be like all right am I flat on that currency so yeah you're, you're gonna have to be a money manager to trade in the United States you can't be a slob uh, you also can't hedge so you you're gonna have to pick a direction and you just take this one script I wrote and you start to exp you start to explain Take this as your stem, or you could start somewhere. But this is the what I came up for the scheme is buy one two four k H one one hour pendings. We start at five pips to thirty, with a hard stop at forty five and a take profit at twenty five. Hard, all four tickets are getting out. I'm gonna see what happens. I may have to make the the four k be uh, at a stop that is deeper on that first one because if first in first out we got to get taken out of this 1k okay before we get taken out of the 2k maybe so I may have to make this technically inside the code where it's getting out at say 448 well you can make this 449 um, here all it has to be is a tenth of a pip difference because right, if they're taking you out, unless the spread does some weird thing, I don't know. At the moment, these are getting tripped out. But no, you're locked in. If that's your exit, so regardless of the spread, you know that's where they ask is for all those tickets, um, or the bid, because you're long. That's where the bid will be locked in when these fill. And these are hard. The only the only time this would fuck up is if the mark was plunging really quickly and these come in. This first ticket is the first in. It has the tightest stop, right? So if it's tanking at the time this array comes in, these are maybe milliseconds apart, 20, 10 milliseconds between, I don't know how fast that comes in. And the same thing with take profits, you maybe make this one is, this cannot get out, even though you want to get out of that. Um, because it's a big ticket, so it's kind of a scalp to me, in my eye, but, so this is last in, this has to be last out. So this needs to be your... Or you could invert this and do an anti-Martingale where this first ticket's a 4K. I'm just doing it in the way I would be trading if I wasn't tortured by this kind of enforced money management style, which they're trying to... I don't. I guess they're... I don't know. You just have to wonder, you know. Um, it, now it's a new obstacle like it's not hard enough to trade you've got to fuck with this shit it's just fucking retarded so we're, but we have to do it I so suppose the people are just saying I can't fucking bully and the 50 to 1 leverage for God's sakes you put you have to get a loan to trade I'm buying the shit out of the euro here so I'm really not paying attention to the demo right now I should be buying on the demo right now I'm barely in. Well, let me just hurry up and chase it a little bit. I'm only at forty-one dollars of margin. It's just not right. Okay, it's just not right. We we should be able to make at least ten pips right now. So I missed my kind of pullback here. There was a nice, beautiful half hour, perfect, better than a fucking phone call to the Ukraine. This fucking pullback. 
Nice and gentle, coming in Asia. Here comes Wild Wednesday. We're going to crush this fucker. We're going to destroy the dollar against the... Can you see it coming? Okay, so I'm, I'm loading the wagon here. I say it's coming. Asia is so obvious. So last night, we made about... On this demo, we made about $800 to here and got out of about 60% of the margin I was in, 70 then I just came in with limits, held the original position, and I just limited up. And when this thing went down and touched this top structurally, I got into about thirteen. Uh, I got about um, thirteen hundred dollars of margin going right there. When we came down into this thing, I gotta grab something here. I sniff out the control board. So this was the, the the saga for last night in this uh, account here. So I'm getting in heavy here right now. Okay, so we got to buy some here. I'm just looking for a burst, but I do think we're going to clean house in the north. So look at the four-hour chart. Let me get rid of these objects. I'll show you. Try to clean this up a little bit. Okay, so here's the story: is that I'm pretty much like I said uh, when we took that ride here in the last video. We go up. We're about 800 bucks. I see. I'm only using 400 dollars of margin now. About thousand dollars of margin, 400. Then we come back in here when we did this last smash to here today, and then when it here, I had already was coming in front of the market with these um, two to uh, super like 30 pips stop I mean this is there's no way we're gonna stopped out right this is 25 pips from here to here so I had 50 pips stops at the market when we got below here I just started loading the wagon with the wider stops and the scalps and I was kind of disappointed because by the time we came rocketing to here did anybody see that psycho rocket today um, as we dripped down and kept teasing it into this vacuum uh, so let's walk this down the way this walked down today so this was kind of a perfect um, you know trend for the day day trend it didn't last too long I mean uh, so here's the story is that I'm in pretty heavy here finish up the video we go rocketing up okay so we come into the sellers window here and we just nick that lonely wick and at this point I did not get out of anything because it auto auto got out oh, like I said I was only trying to make 10 pips last night so that we had that crush now I'm in $400 of margin still, and we start to back up, and we go down this wonderful, uh, nice, tame trend, uh, breakout, pull back to this, um, a rally into the, there'd be a cloud here. Just imagine a three-period moving average, that's all you're doing. Now imagine there's a moving average here, so you're just selling. It is nice to have the color wheel there, but this nice drift down here. And then we're either coming after these guys or we're coming after these guys or we're coming into here. So I'm, I'm willing, I'm lightly in, I'm barely in this thing, but um, I'm willing to buy more down here. So that's my thing is that I'm willing to buy more. And so when this went down here, I bought some, uh, then they stopped me out on my tight stops. And then I got in here heavily on limits, which I had pending for eight hours. I filled up a lot here. And when I saw that final burst, we take out the low from two days ago. And right here, in the blink of an eye, right here, you just fill that. And then um, here's where you're in heavy. This is one hour give back of a six hour walk down. So this is the cause and effect. The cause always comes before the effect. The cause here for a rally would for an effect like this would be that it came back gently. Um, this is definitely the, the last gasp for the pulse here. Also exited here, um, knowing that if you look back, there was a hole there. But now we've satisfied this hole for the moment. Now it looks like this is the next impending vacuum. Also this one here. So I'm willing to buy in limits all the way down on another account, on this account. It's always a good trade. 
Uh, the dollar yen had the same reaction today to this situation of the move in a particular direction. So here's a story. We go down. Um, I'm sorry. We uh, we kind of do this same style like, okay, here's Asia. Breakout. So this is kind of like the game that's being played is um, this has to fill. But look, it's not quite filled enough to have enough people say we're done let's go the other way so same things happening here you're buying dump buy dump this is a beautiful scalp here you see how from here to here is the maximum profit on that yeah because it's going from stop hunting this guy to stop hunting that guy here maybe you didn't get filled because that's the bit only you're looking at but once again, we keep probing that for a run to here. We, we come into this, this is the seller's window, and you could have cashed out, which on the euro, it was like a rally to here. But this is the same story, different currency. Once we fall below this, this missing area, if you stack your limits up, even in the United States, so, like some people... I think, I think we're going to go on a rally here, so I'm buying more of the euro for a pop if you a pop north you see the euro tick chart there so I know that we're leaving the station here and I'm just not going to buy anymore I just bought some more and um, here's a plunge coming possibly on this currency pair so my approach to this one is let's just buy the plunge why do you want to work so hard this is what the no not this is what Andrew Cardwell said once, and I thought, I thought it was kind of pompous, but he said, why do you want to work so hard? And I thought, yeah, why do you want, because I have a work ethic. Can't you see my Gartley? Dude, you don't even know how to use a Fibonacci tool. Dude, we're not working on cars here. It's pure fucking chaos you're looking at. Here, look at 10 pips deep for four hours. I like that trade. Now, if I had another one for eight hours, six hours, which I don't, Here's the answer. I don't know if I have the answer in here. Here's the answer. How deep do you want to get in? Oh, let's get in uh, 20 pips in three hours. 25 pips in eight hours. Okay, now, even this would work in the United States. If you made this a, a 13K, so technically speaking, you're allowed to put in 100 different tickets on one instrument in one direction in the United States. Because you're up to... The only problem is that two tickets away from your last two tickets is 98K on that ticket and 100K. You better pick some different stops and take profits for that. But, of course, then you're stuck with the problem because in the United States, what you'd have to do is say every eight hours is going to pull a specific script that's contoured a specific way on one instrument that I've sized to the instrument the way that instrument typically behaves. We know the guppy is going to have to be buying every 100 pips, 1, 2, 3K, Martingale up into 8K with a master stop of X. You interlace that. Kind of the beauty of the American stupid-ass forced money management is that if you keep punching that button, it's only going to fill so many tickets. If you trade at a broker that doesn't have FIFO, you might fill that whole rack over and over again. So what they'll do is they will cut you out. So, yeah, and how can you possibly at 50 to 1 leverage blow up? I said to this guy on the phone, he didn't understand anything I was saying. I said people can't do math. That's why leverage is a problem in the United States because people are so fucking retarded because they're leasing a car for $500 a month. They're, oh, dude, you're driving a $70,000 car, supposedly. If you walked in with cash, so, you know, I mean, for God's sakes. Oh, another buy. Now let's get in this one. I see this pullback. Let's chase it. Are we too late? Okay, I'm going to come with five pip stops like a bandit. Hurry up, hurry up. 15-minute traders are, are waking up. Oh, my God, hurry up. 
The fear of missing out's a real thing, people. There's nothing worse than seeing them. Oh, dude, they're about to rally. Oh, fuck, where's my tablet? Uh, fuck! Come on, now that's the fucking pain. This is why you should be in at least 1K of something. Back to the United States. I'm dropping my FIFO tickets right now on this beast. Euro. Let's pick it up. I'm going to pull back. See, now here's a problem. But maybe not. I'm already in. I'm not in a 1K, so I could pick up a 1K. I feel like I'm in a poker game now. You got a, You got any clubs? That it's kind of it's it's happy but it's sad. I guess it's good for the goobers. Keeps them on a leash. Here, we haven't picked up. I I got a spare. Can you you got a you got a royal flush? A royal flush is getting in the United States in FIFO mode to 20k, dude. I'm in each K. Fuck FIFO. Watch this. Now that's and you know what? It's even better in the United States if you think about it because. They're only going to let you trade a 20K on one direction. I'm sorry, 20 tickets. And you know when you get to 20 that you're in a lot of fucking K because the other ticket below is a 19K. And, right. So if you're trading 10K in the United States and they're only allowed you, what is that? What is 10K? One, two, I don't even know. It's like 50K, isn't it? And... um. You also have the, you got to take profits on your first entry. So you'd have to make the design of that like your last, your, your last big ticket. It's going to be the deepest one. It's going to have to be an engulf script. Almost every skull, uh, script in the United States is swing trading for, to optimize that script. I'm thinking because if you, unless you put the 20K at the top, make that your scalp and then do a, inverted martingale where you're buying a 1k at the bottom of the rack right and so it's something to think about i'd have to work on it you know like i'm just trying to hold all of these tickets in my head thinking about what if this what if that um so we know the rules of the road now if you have to be in you'd be in 13k and maybe you don't fill the whole rack because the market doesn't necessarily going to crash into the script that you wrote and i'm speaking of double click get her done stuff that you could trade maybe not while driving but you look at the market you're like oh it looks like it's going to tank about 50 pips let me put in the um and if there's nothing pending so every hour that 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 those guys delete themselves you have the chance to launch the fresh tickets and i guess in a sense they also keeping you from over trading their platforms i don't know Maybe the server society um, took Frank Dot out for some uh, porn date or some hooker, hooker with boys for that one. One of the uh, Dodd brothers, one of the nanny staters is like queer as a $3 bill. So look, I'm up on all my tickets, but I can only get it on the first one that was executed. And I don't even know how to find that, honestly. I'd have to talk to an American. This poor guy on the phone was like looking at, it's almost like everything I said, he was trying to get a translator next to him. Go, what, what is he saying now? I like how if you sit on Oanda hold that they go through every fucking language and even languages like like haven't been invented yet. Like hieroglyphics. If, for hieroglyphics, press nine three times. Oh please. But hey, look at this. I am up I was up more. I was up seventy eight dollars earlier today and I thought, you know what? I probably couldn't get out if I wanted to. Look, I picked up a cell, I'm up ninety cents. Let's see if I try to get out. Let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. It's first in, first out per currency I just discovered, I think. right. Also, I could hit the take all profits button. And also, now I can go look at the dollar yen and say, yeah, should I put another trade? So, yeah, you, yeah, it's a different kind of thing in the United States. It's like it's like co-ed. It's like non-co-ed dorming or something. I don't know if it's... You know what? If you're used to just hedging and just being a psychotic swing trader, you just don't give a fuck. You're this, you're that. Yeah, I could build a I could build a platform that runs in the U.S. Yes, you could do it. I just gonna you don't need so much money in the account, you know. 
Dude, I'm at six hundred dollars a margin. I could be at I could be at a brokerage with a thousand one leverage. I'd be using sixty two bucks. I don't even think that. I mean, look at this. People love this kind of style of trading. What am I talking about? Look at this, the 15-minute limit. We got bagged. That was the the rack I just built. I should write FIFO here on the comment, make sure we're running true FIFO. Uh, certified regulated scripts. I could actually, now that's something I could sell, but why would I bother? Are you fucking kidding? Here's my um, FIFO regulated script license. If I catch you... If I see that comment on your platform, I'm going to come sue you. Like, who has time to hire an attorney? You licensed it. What do you watch the fucking... I know there's a shredder out there. Uh, <laughs> some guys play guitar. Go look at Steve Vai talking about, well, you should license it. He probably saw the Steve Vai license everything video interview. I got it. You know, Eddie Van Halen's like, yeah, you know. But you know what? Who cares? You see Luther Vandross out singing? No, he's dead. So, you know, if you're not dead, shut the fuck up. Um, there's plenty of stuff to worry about. Like, I'm just thinking um, just how to not eat bad food, you know. This coffee, I'm a little addicted, though, I think. Uh, God, the guy to land, it wasn't too perky. I go, yeah, I'm testing out some stuff there. Look at this. I'm up on a 5K. I'm up 8 cents on dollar cad. What the fuck? That is a buy limit drop, though. I know this Herman Trade guy just confused the shit out of me. Well, you can do this and you can't do that. You can't, dude. You gotta reread what you wrote. Unless English is not your first language, I don't even understand. Like you're, it's a, it's worse than the Oanda site, which does not mention like if you're in a two K cancel. Their example is this is example one. Go to the. It's a complete conversion from Japanese. There's no fucking way. Their site is so fucked up, you can't navigate it. I try to get the phone number. They keep going, oh, do you need more help? They don't even want to talk to anybody. It's all about the fucking chat and the email. They're, you just sure you don't? Yeah, I'm going to make a video, fucker. Here's, I did this to one broker. I said, uh, you know what, fucker? I'm going to make you a video how your platform's fucking me. Every time I put money in there, all of a sudden the real account slows down. When I put pendings in with not any money, it's blistering fast. Then the chat girl goes, well, you can't just put pendings in unless there's money in the account. I go, bullshit. They're fucking coming in on the server. And as soon as I put money in, all of a sudden they're coming in slow. Well, I guess they're taking, I guess, I guess it's a demo account till real money hits it. I don't know. Fuck, I don't work there. And I don't work at this Oanda thing. Holy shit. I don't know. They were probably getting fucked with, you know, their back office. So I said to the guy, I, it dawned on me when I was talking to him. Yeah, your back office doesn't want to think if it's first in, first out. They're going to be like, yeah, that 4K was in at 11 o'clock and the 5K was in because they can't fucking hunt down your stupid ass entry. And they probably had somebody auto one, auto one day and gave them a hard time. And they go, okay, well, we're just making it so fucking, it's really hard to fuck up. But maybe they did it so you fucking overtrade it. I don't know. Can't. It's fucking spread suck. Here we are. So, you know, can I look at all these tickets? Go look at the dollar cad. Is that a good trade to be in right now? It's not even moving. How can I be up eight cents rock solid for the, yeah, people? Are, I'm trading the dollar cad. I'm like, why? Nobody's trading it but you. Jesus. Look at that thing dead here. What the fuck? So, yeah, Wanda. <laughs> See, this is the buyer's window. You could have put a whole hand place. Now, if you hand place them, you're going to have to make sure you don't duplicate any tickets. You could you could put them any way you want as long as you have different sizes. You could have buy limits galore in here. In a 25 pip window. Okay, that's my strategy. You're buying this fucking lonely wick. It doesn't matter if you're in the United States. If you go to this rack of these $10 drops, so don't tell me I can't trade this fucking scheme. I got the 1K, right? 
I'm already in a 5K, so I can't drop another 5K. You got, you got a pair of threes? I do. I feel like I'm in a poker game now. All of a sudden, I'm like, okay, here's an 8K. And I can do this? Now, here's a way that the Americans are saving you from getting double filled. I'll put a buy stop in. And I have a buy limit. Whichever one fills first. And guess what? The beauty of this is, if they fill the limit, they ain't going to fill that stop. And if they fill the stop, they ain't going to fill the limit. You're not going to oversize the account. Another bonus. Not what I prefer because I've lived the other way for so long. Um, but, you know. And it's a good thing that um, I just that they actually did change the sizing on this because I think that it for me it was utterly like here you can see look at I've got the 8k up here um, and I know these are all $10 risks so I kinda did make this a hard the reason I wrote this was for people to say can you risk $10 on this trade a 3k right I wanna buy a 3k here without confirmation confirmation it goes lower I wanna buy a 2k which I don't have I've got a queen of hearts. He's got a king. Okay, see? And I got confirmation goober entry because I'm going to buy bigger as it goes up because then I really like to trade. I, don't know, just, I think that's the dumbest shit in the world is confirmation. But here, we're just going to do it. Um, let's see what we can do with this this account. We have uh, The contest is we're in the United States. Now, I am running the hard-coded FIFO ready double click here tonight. So I'll just make a link to the FIFO grid. And if you want to build these and this, now what I'm thinking is the next script we write is going to be five to eight. See where I'm going? Two hours. And then we can create um, bigger tickets that go deeper. We could also flip it inside of there with the top of the each top of each grid. Like I said, it's a bottomless pit. When I say it's a bottomless pit, I'm saying I'm showing you 0 0.00001 of what's possible because you could just say buy a 4K, 3K, 2K, 1K, and then come in here. You're going to buy 8K, 7K, 6K, 5K. Right? You're never duplicating. You have to be a little more creative in the United States because you've got to get around this FIFO bullshit. They're never getting rid of it. Dude, Trump's fucking trying to, uh, he's, he's sitting there with a fly swatter with these fucknuts coming after him about a phone call he made. Jesus Christ, how nitpicky fucking spoiled motherfuckers. These Democrats have been sucking on the tit of welfare and getting people on welfare to vote for them. Like, they remind me of the guys that were in the student council, although there was a hot girl in there. But you got these people that can barely make it to school and they're hiring them because I guess this comes from a religious, the meagle here inherit the earth. So if you look like a goober, this is also the, of mice and men, you know, the guy's just such a dumb fuck goober that bless his heart. That's what they say to goobers down south. You know, oh, you know, he's just, he means well. We had a guy in the neighborhood we called mean well. This guy'd fuck everything up. So we just call him mean well. And he got it, and he would laugh like a goof about it, because he knew he was a mean well. Everything he did, he meant well. He fucked it up totally. Really, you couldn't fuck it up if you tried worse. Here, I'm going to just keep coming in with this ticket. I want to see what happens. So, also, uh, people criticize me for doing these trades. I just want to see what's going to happen, dude. I wrote this fucking scheme. Okay, so now we're going to go. This is not what I want to do. I want to come in with the... Um, and I could also have it where, imagine this, we have like a bell uh, hot spot. We come in like this, buy limit, 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, and then, uh, or, I'm sorry, you got to think like uh, United States, so I could say 1K, 3K, we could do odds, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, now go eight, go evens down. The hot spot here. You could also hand place that. You know, it does matter at some point if you're going to put in 
a 35k because it's your 35 35 35th ticket that you've put in in this one United States account then yeah you know hey it's a different kind of style of trading I must say you're kind of it's kind of like a, a real uh, and I'm, plus you only can trade one direction which I'm good at that so but if you did have a sell up here it's okay to have a sell up here if you take profits are on the way to that also and you can move those around you can see the take profits are way the fuck up here so this ticket won't even that'll be ignored I have not seen one message coming from the broker yet telling me that I've broken any FIFO laws they're kicking the tickets out okay they're not letting it happen see there's no mail in my mailbox nobody has said I like I blew up the mailbox with the EA last time the EA that would run on this account would have to be very sophisticated in that sense also my EA would just do what I'm doing so it wouldn't have to be but if you had money management where it's going to do a trailing stop management holy shit I'm just trading like obvious stuff like look at the daily chart do you have a trade plan for the market going sideways like that okay on to the cloud trading um Somebody asked about this. Now, if we take the cloud, look, I'm getting filled on that euro, I think, or something. The CAD. Okay, the CAD. I just picked up. All right, so the cloud. Inside here, if we zoom into max zoom, you might be able to see some of the wicks are bigger than others. Um, oh, wait a second. Just right at the edge of the recorder. I can't. Oh, see. Now, I still got the real candles in there. Let me turn those off. Just go to a bar chart here. So this is kind of what I was aiming at when I built it. Was can we get this look where it's deep blue, which means we're really, and this is the longer moving average. Let me get rid of these balls. Oh, you know what? Let's put a rack of balls in here. I'm curious. This is another. This is the euro yen, which is very vicious. So this may be too tight, but I just want to see what happens. This only lasts for an hour. This risk uh, thing. But so really, what we should be doing is go and find a 5k. Let's grab a 5k and put it down here all day long. And I'm going to base it on that wick top. I want to buy that top, and then I'm going to buy. It has to be a bigger ticket. I'll get a 6K going down here. I'll put in a um, 7K down here. So I'm Martin Gellion. All day long. I don't think we're going there. But um, if I get filled long and my target needs, my entrance needs to be above my target so I can go the other direction. Okay, so you have to plan this out a little bit here. You can't just shotgun it. So let me do an um, let me do an uh, anti martingale. So I'm going to trade heavy off the scalp, coming in with my biggest K. Eight K. I don't have a nine K. Ten pips stop to make eighty pips. It doesn't mean I have to wait for the eighty pip winner, but I'm going to just say that's a big ticket and. Let me put in a 6K here. I'll be stopped out of that, and I'll pick up another ticket. And I'm kind of anti martingaling at this point because I'm willing to put in the 20 pip stop after I get stopped out of that. So I just keep selling, selling, selling. Let them stop me out. I'm risking $10 a drop. Do I want to buy more here? I say yes. Do I have a 3K? Uh, also, I guess what you get, well, um, no. Okay, so the only time I think it would make sense to put two 3Ks in, if the first 3K only lasts an hour and the next 3K lasts three hours, which means if the market can't get there and that one disappears, it's going to go down and fill the deeper one because it's not going to fill that 3K if it first fills a 3K here. You can't get into the same size twice. 
you can get it at a different size at a different price, but then do you get in at a bigger? Well, I think if it's the stop. It's how much you're risking per thing, but you'd have to think about, see how difficult that is? Um, because it's like, well, the guy sent me the email. Do I do this? There, where do I? Yeah, that is the problem. The devil's in the details. And does it really matter in the end if you're just trying to take the approach that I don't want to babysit this shit? Like here, look at this fill I got into. Now, I'm in Oanda. Look how they just missed my stop. No, I got, probably got stopped out of something. You see the smash down? They could have stopped me out. And you can also put in less greedy take profits. Every one of these tickets is unique. This is risking $10 to make 80, 10 to make 40. Same size ticket, but I changed the stop, see. I'm sorry, I changed the take profit. Same stop at 13 on an 8K. Pretty insane, right? And this last is the dollar amount, right? So here is a risk 10 to make 35 bucks. If that plays out just like that. My take profit is way up here. If I let that trade go, it looks like a perfectly good trade. Although I could take this take profit and drag it down here. Or I could just get out of it as soon as I'm up on it. But that was pretty good for just randomly throwing these in i literally just said you know i want to buy down here somewhere yeah because you want to buy low and shell high you don't understand man it ain't as hard people want to make this so complicated but you don't understand what if i look them up five bucks i have to be careful i've only got like yeah you know what you can trade in the united states just sell your car and put it in the fucking account because you can always buy your car back apparently you're not going to blow up this account But if you want to take 500 bucks and go samurai and end up with three grand at the end of the month, you're probably going to need more than 51 leverage. Right? Because I'm barely in it. I'm $600. They own me. So it's a bank account. Forget. You're just trading a bank account. You just need higher startup capital. That's all. Yeah, margin doesn't mean anything, but if you really want to take two grand and turn it into 16 grand in two weeks you know if you want to make uh, 14 grand in two weeks you can only do that with immense leverage no way i'm getting in a million dollar position here no fucking way what am i in i guess i'm in bigger than i think because look at this i'm in a i am in like 30k is that right 30k because we're doing 50 to 1 leverage. 20K. Look, I'm killing it on that euro. I get another buy signal. They're twisting my arm. We're stepping through the window until 7 o'clock at night. Uh oh. Baby's going to rally. That was quite an astounding. Boy, when they walked that down today on the Euro and then just rocketed it up, I, I got out of that thing so fast, dude. I was like, we're cashing out of that. That ride's over. Did you catch that ride today? And now it's just choppy woppy. But look at this beautiful walk down. What a perfect. Dude, better than a Biden Ukraine dirt, get the dirty bastards. Trading for Mike Wallace. He's about the next fucker to get kicked off the air. Another, another, um, completely, do you hear Sam Donaldson's talking? I thought he was dead. What an asshole. I forgot I can't trade at the moment. Oh, I'm in the wrong account. Wait. Here. I'm just getting in like, like a wild man now. All right, let's go. Come on. She's leaving the station, people. I'm putting in the 50 pip winners and the 95 pip winners here, but I want to make those 12 pips. 22 pips. Hurry up. Let's get into $200 of margin here. Oh. Here, 55, 33, 18. They're not taking my tickets. Watch, they're going to come in. 
This broker disconnects. That's all right. All right, so here we go. I guess it just denied those tickets. All right, we're going to come in and try to get to 200 bucks here real quick. 20 minutes to the top of the hour. There's a big short squeeze coming. Let's see this thing fuel me. Kind of like last night's a fizzle until we walked it down today and found more buyers. So I'm done buying. Oof. They keep torturing these poor gold people. Oh, gosh. I feel so bad. And no nonsense is going to trade metals next. Guys, don't fall for my tricks of making you watch my gold trading videos, please. Fall for it. Yeah, they're falling into my trap of becoming a viewer. I have so much currency in all the clicks. Dude, if I was going to play that game, I'd have fucking, like, uh, 4X rape. Okay, I'd have, like, clickbait, like, a pip. Imagine a character called Mr. Pip being raped. People are like, I can't even believe it. This is so offensive. Or how about the, um, oh, I'm a, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I'm a girl. Can I go to the girls? No, you can't. Dude, not unless you take that razor blade and edit yourself. Now, I'd like to see that. Sure, then you're not a threat. Yeah, you're not going to be boning. I mean, you know what? We're going to do a we're going to do a check there. We're going to do a, a scan of your body. What are people thinking, dude? If you don't know who you are, look at this nice boy. Let's get in. Two hundred bucks. Come on. The smartest traders in the world. Jesus fuck. <laughs> I'm buying gold here. Sorry. They're going to stop me out of that. There's that. That script, I'm going to make like two cents there. I'm looking at the tick chart. It does look like a good guy buying gold there on the daily. That's why you want to trade demos, man. Don't even. I don't know what I just did there. All right, so let's put in the limits, too. Don't be foolish. We could still sell off. So this is what I was running the 8-hour going 18 pips deep with a 30-pip master stop here. I ran this one. I don't think I got filled too much. This should be a 12-hour script for the Euro. Take a look at the depth of this shotgun. If I go in, now this is beautiful in the pound. But it's just too deep for this. You're never going to see it. I don't think, if we go down there, it'll take all week. This is what I would say. What is the probability of us coming back here? Would you buy down here next month? Oh, without a question. I would set a American grid in there, a FIFO grid in there. I'd have no problem. Set it and forget it. Even if you have to, even if the market only comes to here and you go close all open and pendings or close all, or just keep clicking till they let you out, you're going to have to take the losers off the table. The first in tickets you're going to have to take off. Unless you write the grid like this. Buys a 20K with a stop. Buys another 20K with a stop. Right Once you get stopped out, Really, it's very difficult. Because what you're saying is, what What am I going to do? Am I going to sell a 20K here to scalp here, sell an 18 here? And the, this, the stop for here is up here. If you put a master stop on all these tickets and you anti-Martingale, it's going to be sell a 20K. <laughs> not, not really. This is going to be worse than Martingale because you're not. If you're, see how difficult that is? So how are you going to do it? I say sell 1k 2k 3k 4k whatever they fill you put a master stop in big fat stop here big fat take profit whatever happens they come up they fill you you can just do whatever you want comes back to here all right maybe you get out 
it, it's just not you're kind of like like I said the broker's kind of taking away your risk by not letting you get into too many crazy schemes and they're also not they're also not letting you trade um, the other direction until that trades over so that you're they're keeping you from over trading that's what the nanny states about <laughs> God wake up man It's about not, it's like no nonsense. It's about not losing money. It's not by taking a risk. Well, who do you think you are? Dude, we had to put you on Ritalin, and then that didn't, we're backfired, and then we're, well, let's put you on some Quaaludes. Simmer down. Why are you so fucking angry at these other fucking traders? I'm not angry at them. I'm just pointing out the flaw. I'm only angry at people like no nonsense. It's like, come on, people. Why doesn't he just fucking ask people to go to Mexico, cut their nuts off because they're going to board hell bop? He looks like he, rem I picture him as being like Apple White. Anybody know who's Apple White is? Look up uh, hell bop. What was it called? Not the Branch Davidians. It was called, oh, fuck. Heaven's Gate. Jesus. I was showing this girl Heaven's Gate. She goes, what are you talking about? You never heard of Heaven's Gate? You ever heard of Jim Jones? You ever heard of No Nonsense Forex? <sighs> Buy a vowel. Here, I'll, here, I'll, you can have one of my vowels. That's worth 50 bucks. Buying for 12 hours down here. 40 pips for 12. So yeah, I did write these based on momentum. I would say buying 13 pips deep for 12 hours is like a euro dollar trade, but I'm going to throw it in here for kicks. What else? The cloud. So let me show you what this cloud looks. I'm going to strip away. I'm going to jump in with the cloud template here. I'm going to strip away the clouds pieces. Let's see if we can make better trading decisions because of cloud. Is it keeping us out of... Let's go for the um, no-nonsense daily algo. I think I have in here four layers. The first one... So the backdrop for this is a... The first one that paints is the first one here. So this is like a four-period method one. This is a three-period method two, and this is a three-period method three, which is a different kind of, slightly different. I could take this one off, but we're just going to leave it like that. I don't know. You, you can play with this until your head explodes. And whatever rules you make up for the color scheme, right, and you're in a severe uptrend, you're going to see more green showing. A severe downtrend, you're going to see more deep blue. Right? The weekly's been in a downtrend for fucking ever. We don't need a 100-period moving average baseline out here, right? Um, we're smoothing out. And we have that whole kind of volatility behind us. In a way, it, it is like a volatility thing. Because we're so far from those Hakanashis. So Hakanashis giving you the backdrop. So let me see here. I'm going to go to the comments, try to remember what people were asking. I want to keep an eye on the euro here. See, the ask line is not turned on. Look at the spread, sucks. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, I have to get my tablet out to see the commentary here. Um, okay. Okay. Um, wow. Please hold. Once again, your call is very important to us. So somebody said, um, 
please do a video on best brokers. Well, the best brokers, I mean, there's 350 brokers on the planet. So the best brokers would be, uh, you'd have to just go, like, I mean, if you didn't, if you could live anywhere on the planet, obviously the best broker is going to be something like, uh, I haven't traded there in a long time, so my favorites were um, Exynos, high leverage. Um, I think Trading Point, which turned into, um, oh God, it used to be, I think, Hot Forex uh, bought Trading Point or something like that. No, no, it's, um, so it's one X. Uh, you could always go to Trader's Way. You can go to, there's got to be like, that's just 300 brokers. So it depends what you're trying to do. How can you, how are you going to get your money in there? That's the first question. How are you going to transfer your funds in there? Because if you're going to wire money, it's going to cost you a lot of, they're going to charge you. So, and if you need the money to live on, right? So if you need the money to live. But yeah, I mean, it's just, just you're just going to have to go open demo accounts and trade them. Like this one here, I don't, never would have thought about the OANDA thing, but you know, a lot of people can't um, get high leverage, so they're just they're going to be over here, you know, in this this nanny state. But yeah, there's new brokers showing up. I'd say every six months out there, some of them have merged. You know, there used to be FinPro, that's gone. There used to be um, I my favorite one. It's got to be Light Forex, and people would make fun of it. But Light Forex had the most flexibility in the world. They're still there. Um, when you're there, you can pick your leverages. You can actually zero your account out. You can have a, a nano account. You can have a gold. If you can trade silver, you almost need a nano account unless you want to sit there and be at the mercy of the insanity of these, of these, uh, you know, 5,000 ounces of silver is pretty expensive these days. And it's pretty, everything's going to, the wheels are going to come off. Let's face it. You're coming into the election of a guy that's supposedly being impeached on bullshit. It's going to be nuts. There probably are going to be some people doing some radical shit. And the markets will just react out of volatility. Where we go is kind of inconsequential, but a very vicious reaction. I'm going to put the cloud on this one, see if it helps us. This is also the... Um, the infamous dollar CAD trade that we talked about, the dead camp bounce possibly here. Let's take a look at this. Let me delete the objects, clean this up. Um, I think I just pushed this trade by putting a bunch of orders in here. But, but once again, you know, it's just a matter of if you bought underneath here, going into, if you bought at the close of Friday and you got picked up on limits down here, yeah, you made about 50 pips off the bottom of that. And if you sold because it was up at the end of the day, is there anything wrong with that trading strategy? I think not. It's up, you buy. It's up, you sell. It's down, you buy. But then you're going to tell me, well, I bought here and it was down. Yeah, but if you couldn't see this hole, then you got a problem. right? I don't care what your cloud says. This void matters. It matters so much. That it just shears right through that price, see? Just like this void matters. Just like this trap into that. This is the micro version. We never make it here for the sellers because it's filling that. Then it fills this and it goes up. Then it comes into here. And we're going to buy down here and we're going to sell up here. If you're aggressive, you're long now, and you're going to buy, 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 buy. Because you're a buyer. You're a bull. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Stop it. Stop overanalyzing this shit. Okay, so Euro's going up. We're riding it into the five-minute traders that are coming in right now. I want to get to this uh, comments here. and just kind of go through this because people are asking about... Um, I said, I need a 
at the end uh, okay so oh, I'm reading old comments so for some reason <laughs> what is some <laughs> what is some guy I'm reading old comments on here <laughs> okay God, I guess I did some video a long time ago. Wait. People are commenting. All right, so let me go back to the most recent comment. Oh, God. Okay. What kind of tail? Okay. I'm almost there. God, I mean, the way this tablet scrolls is painful. Let me go to the Coinex. So, a lot of these people are Bitcoin. Um, that's your only uh, source of transfer mode. So here, I'm just buying, like, I'm not buying the chart I'm on, am I? Wait, here, let, me, let me buy this euro. It doesn't really matter. I'm just because those no, I'm not risking much there, but I want to get at least another hundred dollars a year ago in here before I take out the high of the day and go screaming north. I'm not a big fan of these greedy take profits either because I don't know. We could probably make a 40 pip run here uh, by the time London opens, but like I said, I can make more money with these very tight exits. And if I don't hit my if we don't hit this window here. It's kind of hard to see. Got the bat, a bad background color, but this is my exit window. See, every time I click, I'm only looking to make that. So if I get into three standard lots and I make three hundred dollars or two hundred dollars, that's fine. In Asia, I'm fine. And then just put a rack of limits in below me. After we ride that out. Okay. Oh Jesus. I miscued, so now I guess start over. Wait. Yeah, it's just you know, with the, the the big problem with a tablet is every time you touch the fucker to go navigate somewhere, you're activating some bullshit with the mouse. It's very precise. Okay, so somebody says here about this cloud can you do a um it says you're buying pullbacks and selling pullbacks depending on what color the cloud is is that what i got from you in a, in a sense i suppose here is the crudest uh, uh explanation is that um yeah how, how do you approach say here's the british pound on the four-hour chart well you know it goes blue here um and if you were to follow the strict, no-nonsense kind of deny reality view of life, you would sell here because it's blue. This would be like if you were a Democrat and they, did he call Ukraine? Yes, it's he called you because blue is Ukraine. Okay, well then he must be up. Sorry, you know, if you could go, if you could run this on MT5 and go to the six-hour chart, you're never going to see blue. This is a pullback into the bullish cloud i think what's going to mess people up is that this pullback or pull up into the cloud here is worth a completely different pip amount than this trade so if you do come in here hopefully if you're using a um a kind of laggy if you're using a laggy moving average you know this, this is like I said, you don't have to tr cloud trade it because I can already see my entrance is going to be this hole. If you buy the pullback into this cloud, on the British pound, to ride this and make 100 pips with a 50 pip stop, here you, you got a 50 pip stop. You could have made 150 pips, right? And... But what's really making that market move is this hole's getting filled, even though, yes, you could say, well, I sell, yeah, you're going to sell if you're a cloud trader. It's not like you can't be. 
but be very suspicious of selling into this cloud here that late in the game. And when you see this big trail here, depending on how you build this. So the question is, um, oh, did somebody, okay, wait a second. Somebody might have replied to him. It's a bitch to navigate this thing. So here is, uh, can you do a quick video on setting up the cloud? Well, this cloud here is, it's not written in stone. I mean, it really depends. Maybe you do want to see this big-ass long-moving average. I can take off the short-moving averages here. So if I go into indicator, indicator list and say, you know what, take off this laggy one. I'm just going to go with two clouds here. So you can see that the method I'm using is so far away from, and there's less decision-making. And we don't see this hint of the blue here because then I'm not putting that other, right? So this is a really just a histogram moving average at this point. So if you go to the daily, you know, you can see no-nonsense people. Hopefully they're not going to have to use dumb shits, dumb shit stuff like uh, ATR to see this trade set up. But here's your bottom becoming a top, right? Your classic situation. Structurally, at the same time, you're allowed to sell any rallies into the blue. And all I did was take off. What I posted already, I just took off one indicator, one moving average, so to speak. And here, you know, it's very, there's no ambiguity to this. Of course, here is the problem. You buy here thinking this is a perfectly good trend. You buy more here, and you give it too much room, and they just crush you. But if you can also trade the... Um, Limits down here, buy limits here. So the reason why this is a big deal, this top becomes a bottom, top becomes a bottom in the cloud, I'd say this is a better. When this gets long in the tooth and you've been in this trend for this long, do you really think it's going to keep going to the moon? It could because you'd say the same thing here. Do you really think this is going to keep tanking? Well, you don't know, but you kind of know that because right, you, if you sell here, and you're like, oh, this trend's amazing. It's going to keep, yeah, okay, well, what if what if you're just running out of sellers? So you can't be, you could be a blind. You could show this to somebody, but I think the problem is, is if you sell here because you say we're starting a new downtrend, they're going to rip your face off if you're not taking something off the table every 10 pips, at least every foot. 10, 5, 15, because you don't know when they're going to turn on you like a Doberman. You know, I mean, you got to understand from the loser victimhood view of the earth's melting, you know, it's the bankers that tricked you into that trade because they knew your cloud trade and they let you be a winner for a little bit. They rip your fucking face off. They're just tricking you retail traders into that downtrend, see? Tricked you, see? Think of all the goobers that went short here without waiting for a fucking counter-trend move. That would be no nonsense. We got confirmed shale here. We're showed. Oh, shit. He's selling here. He's not set. No nonsense is not counter-trend entering, which is so stupid. Dude, when it's up... You're selling to write it down. Sell, 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 sell. Buy. You don't want to buy. You don't want to sell here, even though you're going to tell me, well, let's see, we're right, because we use money management. Well, this guy is so stupid. He is the essence of stupidity. And he's, and what's the appeal? How are people even following him through this stupidity? I don't even, you just, if you even have, maybe you don't, I mean, maybe people are just like, dude, he sounds so like, he makes so much sense. The praise he gets. People are like, my day's complete now. 
what the fuck is your day look like that this guy's completing it? How is no nonsense completing your day? They used to tell people like that, get a life. People say that about me, but this is my life. Fucking around with this goddamn MT4. Okay. So, let's go to the... Uh, one last look at the cloud here. Or my version. Smooth Takanashi. I could, I could just use one cloud. I like dual clouds because I like to see this envelope. I think I've got, unfortunately, the same kind of green going north here. So you don't see the up and down. I'll show you the other clouds I'm not using. And the reason I'm not using them because of the... Um, it has to do with the colors haven't been properly aligned. <laughs> Let me show you. So if you go down here, um, it's going to be everything that starts with, it stands for um, Hakanashi Smooth. So if you go here, look in the code, and it's going to say yellow, yellow, yellow. By the way, this is the down bar, and this is the up bar. So to make these colors, this is the width of the bar. I kind of took the original code and made it so the bars are all the same size. I'm just, you know, this is just a matter of taste. I want to see everything kind of as least amount of thinking as possible. Like I don't want to say, oh, it's a skinny wick. Oh, it's a, no, it's just, a, it's, it's bad enough that it's the smoothing. And actually, can write a very tight cloud it could be one period it could be a two period moving average or three period or four and that's it with a very whatever smoothing um whether it's linear weighted or it seems like linear weight is the quickest tightest i think that's number three method it gives you the hugging price the exponentials kind of tight i think simple is really loose i think that's method one is simple you just have to there's I didn't build anything magical. Here's the here's the method and here's the period. So you have your methods. I try to keep this is kind of a very tight, very tight. I mean it's right behind the backdrop of it and right here it's just a vol because I have the same color, it's really a volatility envelope. What else? There's the um so I wouldn't overthink any of this stuff because it's really I think you still have to be aware of where the market could cave into a certain price. It could fall in a hole. It could go sideways. Um, also, if you're in there looking at the cloud, you're going to look for time. You're going to go through time frames now, and you'll see setups in certain time frames you don't see. If you're looking for a rally into the blue to sell, then you're going to have to hunt down the time frame that fits. And the setup may be occurring on that time frame. The guy was talking about, well, this setup exists there. Yeah, but you're probably still, unless you can trade with a super wide stop, yeah, you could start building. But you're not going to pull the trigger at the market, hopefully, at the end of the week and just put on a big hairy trade and go, okay. Because it's probably going to go a little bit higher, especially if it made a big, profound move north. There's probably plenty of follow-through left, which I believe uh, the weekly euro-dollar chart, or I can't remember which chart he was looking at, but... For instance, I'm sure this is a selling territory, and um, we could still keep moving up a little bit, although I think the scalpers have had their fun here. Right, they plucked the price off. Also, when you build the cloud, the last thing you're going to put in here, for me, is to see the actual price on top of the cloud is going to be the bar. Right, So you have to have the black bar on top of this nonsense. This bar I can get rid of because it's been it's been overridden by so that's kind of redundant unfortunately that's what i posted but it's too much work to to rezip this file but it's it probably won't matter but you know if you care you'll dig into it because I, you're not even going to see that effect down here whether that's there or not right now because the 
cloud is on top of it, whatever's first listed, listed here is the first thing that goes into the screen. And that what I top on top of everything is the actual one period moving average, which gives me the closing prices. So I have a line chart on top of the cloud. I think it's the best of both worlds because I can still see the structure trade here. The top becomes a bottom. And we have a green, green cloud because it's very fast, fast-ish moving cloud. Here's a nice pullback into the cloud. But, uh, you know, hey, that's uh, one week to hard down and buying. Here I buy with a slightly tighter stop. I'm in two positions. When it gets to here, I am definitely getting out because I know I'm in the seller's window. Unless I'm going to go short here. And then I'm. Uh, this is the last buy in the weekly into the into the moving average, or into the histogram cloud. We could still keep cutting north. I'm a seller all the way to here. If we ever make it here, that's the British pound weekly. We could come screaming after that price. How do you pace it? So if I go to the four hour, maybe I got to buy here. Well, I kind of missed it, right? The time to buy this was to buy every pullback. And ideally, you're going to buy it when it comes into the cloud, right? Ideally, you're going to wait for a deep like this. Look at this overshot the cloud. Now, if you had limits in this vacuum, you're in that trade, right? You're just in that trade. It's beautiful. Here, too, if you got buy limits here, you're going to go long. Yeah, if you need this thing to tell you it's going up, but you're chasing if you buy here. Here's the doji. You're getting in here. Try and trader's delight. Break out. Come back. Yeah, moving average. So I could put a tighter moving average in there, but then I might get whipsawed. So I don't want to go past the three three pair moving average. To be honest with you, I just I'm kind of trading almost bar by bar. So the last thing I want to do is put a 20 EMA on this thing and, and make judgment calls like, well, I don't know. It's a, My baseline's here. No, I want to trade this shit. Boom, 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 boom. That's how I am. I want to be in the market for eight hours and make 800 bucks, okay? I don't want to sit around and wait for this shit. I want to build a position. And this was the scalp I did coming into... The beginning of the month, buy limits, whoosh, you're out. You could add sell limits there and done a little 25 pip grid. Okay, there's plenty of pips here. Plenties. And I'm buying on limits all the way down. Make sure I'm not duplicating my. Do I have a 3K? I've already got 3K. Let's put a 4K. No 4K yet. 25 pips stop to make 50 pips. Very conservative. $10 to make 20 bucks. The only problem is I can't stack that up like I can in a, a, in a non-FIFO. In a non-FIFO, I can have an iceberg sitting down here. Now, here, you, if you want to write an iceberg, it's going to have to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it could be in a 20-pip range. That's entirely doable. I could put a 7K in. All right? I got two 7Ks here, so I have the 50 pip stop, the 100 pip stop. But I'm going to pick the tw I'm going to pick the 50 pip stop. Only going to make 35 bucks here risking 10. That's not a bad trade. Um what I could also do is put the exact same ticket in again and go, I'll take this one, and if I get that one, you know what? Okay, this is why, if this was a four-hour ticket, and if I can't get that price, I definitely want it down here. So it's the old joke about if you loved it at 20 bucks, you're going you're gonna to marry it at 10 It's called dollar cost averaging. It's the oldest trick in the book. Or you could call it Martingale. You could call it the fuck you want. Dollar CAD. Looks like a bounce here. Double bottom. Sure. Are you going to back test that? Another harebrained thing. Why does he torture people with the back testing? Just start fucking trading. If you shit your pants, then don't trade anymore. 
I never understood back testing. Only for the sake of building a robot. Why in the fuck would you back test this shit? And to see people struggle. Well, I back tested it and I was waiting for a bullish in golf with a. It was, okay, it's above my baseline. Got enough volume. Not as much as I'd like. I could use a better volume indicator. You can see how you could. Dude, talk about fucking going on forever, right? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna post this FIFO and then write some more. This will be the starter pack. I'll do a, a dedicated. Uh, some people, United States uh, FIFO folder, and I can add on here. Um, not a big fan of it, but uh, you know, hey, you could do it. Here I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run my FIFO right here. It is spread of two, one hour. It'll just deny the sizes it can't do. It's gonna ignore the one. I'm I'm in a 4K right now. It it'll ignore that last ticket. No big deal. They're not gonna sue me. It's all right. Relax. The guy's like, this won't run. What do What do you do about this? It's fine. Everybody's gonna be okay. I still got a 5K left. Let's get in super deep. I don't think we're going down there. But I've I've seen these market. You you say it, people say it's never going down there. Never say never in forex. Can't do a 2K. If I want to accumulate a position, if I want to if I want to build a position, I got to come up with a 7K down here. A 6K here with a hundred uh, uh, a 17 pip stop. There you go. Next problem. I know these only last for an hour. These last all day. I'm going to get in deep here with this. And I can layer these now. Broker's letting me place them. Here's a 4K. I'm trying to make 100 pips. It's only logical that if I get down here with a 3K, with a 34 pip stop to make 100 pips, I'm saying... Or 50 pips. I'm saying I'm looking for a 50, 50 pip bounce off of a 3K right there. Eh, it could happen. So the question you need to ask yourself when you're placing these orders is how long do you think it's going to take you to get filled and what's what do you think this target should be? And these are all trade plans, individual trade plans. It's as plain as the nose on your face. Let me delete the objects so you can see what I'm talking about. If I come in here and say I want to buy a 7K with a 10 pip stop. This broker doesn't even trade. I can't get the grid to come out. So here's the 4-hour chart. These are 25 pip grid. I could buy. I could write a script that writes every 25 pips all day long. Or I hand place them. Buy limit, buy limit, buy limit, buy limit. 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K. Master stop. Start selling everything above here. How'd that trade work out? What do you mean you can't martingale in? What do you mean you can't dollar cost average? I don't get it. Here, you buy... It closed down, you buy, you put a limit in, limit in. No fill on these limits. But this one? Holy shit. And you probably cashed out of something here. In the United States, if you bought here to make 25 pips here, same target, right? That's the perfect script. It's better than a UK phone call right there. I mean, a Ukrainian phone call. You buy here. Buy, buy, buy. Put a stop down here. Be a big boy. Ride it to here. It's out. You didn't even have to cash out. Money management's built in. Master exit. This is the biggest ticket. Makes the most amount of money. Maybe you have a stop here. It's going to be up to you to perceive that, yes, you want to buy a 1K, a 2K, a 3K. 
Buy, 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 buy. Fills up the top rack. Comes to here, you're like, you know what? Looks like it's going to tank again. It's okay, get out. Leave these stay in there. Comes down and it fills those. Does the same movement. Pretty simple. I think the problem is, and this is just trading in one direction, you could have also be short right now. Don't forget, there's somebody out there who makes plenty of money selling and scaling into this. So, 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 so. Now, in the United States, you cannot take this ticket off the table unless you take this off the table. That's all right. You could take them all off at once, and you just didn't lose that much money. Also, you could have just put in tickets here, and that sold this high, and this one's almost, right? Or you could put an iceberg up here that sells like insane. Every pip, you sold the 25K here. You sold another 25K here, and you can get out of every ticket, and you're up on every ticket. All we got to do is drop 25 more pips. Or you just say, you know what? These are the bigger cells. This was a 1K, 2K, 3K. This is 20K up here. You're up. You're up because this, this is a 1K. That was you get your feet wet. That was maybe your swing trade. Or these all have an exit about right here and in another 20. But you don't have to wait till that. Right? I can come in right here on this platform. Let me go to the, uh, I'm in this trade. So I'm going to pay attention to this thing. Five-minute cloud trading, right? I just took this. I'm only got two moving averages on here. So it's blue. Am I selling that? No, I missed the sell. It was here. 15-minute cloud. I missed the sell. It was there. Right? Here was the stop hunt buy. We bought that. The sellers come in for the cloud trade. So you could say, well, on the on the 15, you know, you, all you're doing is putting a, a moving average of some tile in there. But I like it better than moving average because the moving average to me is too hard. Like my moving average is one period, so I can't see the trade. Here you can see down 15 minutes, half hour pullback. That's why I said that was like that was beautiful, right? That side's a British pound. <laughs> but you see British pound? See the bad spread? Pretty harsh. And see how choppy whoppy that is? But look at this accumulation phase here. One, two, three. Here comes a bottom. Wick crushes. We keep closing there, though, at the 25 yard line. These are 25 pip wicks. I love that people are going to come in to try to trade the pound now and scalp it. I mean,. That's a hell of a wick. That's a big wick. And on the four hour chart, it's even more insane. Here's a 25 pip wick. Here's a 50 pip wick almost. So the market gets really quiet here. Here's the floor I'm talking about. Here's the double bottom and the four hours. So you, you, the sellers come into the cloud there. Then, yikes, look at that thing take off. I mean, this is technically a buy, small pullback. This color says buy. This is the, 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 the beauty of the simplicity of this is that you're not looking at a baseline. You're not looking at volume. You're not looking at, all you're looking at is, oh my God, I guess I got to run like a 75 pip stop that's on fire, but look at how many pips that is. A 
but the, the the problem is is that people have a trade plan that's dialed into and this is what no nonsense is doing is really I can't move this fucking clock. No nonsense is doing is um the flaw is that by the time his indicators catch up, by the time his ATR is alerted that right and it may keep him out of some in the most stupid manner keeping you out of some trade. So it's like having your car. Well, the oil temps that, and then one of the, these, all these things are adding up to you not taking the trade, or you taking the trade. It's just too much to think about. And look at this area on this chart, this daily chart. My God, man! I think the holy grail is this ship. Look at the reaction here. When they pound it to here, they're able to rip it to here. When they take it down, three more pips to here. Wow. It's almost like this is the prime real estate. And when they just completely, like, wow. It's amazing. I'm just amazed. This pullback, this one here, wow. What were people thinking here? Anybody selling to that? Yeah, people are probably short on that blue cloud. Oh, it's going to keep going down. Yeah, but you know what? Here you got all day to figure out that, you know, maybe the ride's over. Like when we close here with that big wick behind, then we rip up. People got to be saying, oh, boy, I think we're coming after this guy. Yeah, we stop on that, pull back. Here comes the trend traders, right? Trend traders are taking risks just like a, a limit order guy. People that buy down here. Yeah, the size is the same. It's so complicated. There's so many ways to, there's so many nooks and crannies to this game. Okay, let's get in this one. Take a look back at the euro here. This looks like a good buy. This looks like it's going to tank. So, bottom of the hour is coming, and I'm very heavily long the euro, as you can imagine. Looking at the daily chart, no cloud here. Um, I really don't, you know, I mean, it's good and it's bad. I know it's very visually striking, and it, it makes it look like the trades are obvious, but... It does affect the, the psychology of, like, how you're going to approach it. You know, it's a nice a crude filter. I'd say it's kind of like putting, um, eh, it's like putting EQ on something. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's so funny. Um, here's your Dow Daily. So this was to me, in my opinion, this was the stop pump. We uh, and this they, this trap and the breakout traders here a little bit like. But if the bulls, if people have trend lines that look like this, and here's your like measured price pulse here. If this keeps drifting up and going after this price and eventually gets to this round number. Then are they hunting, this guy? They took the guy from two days ago. If you bought here at the round number. You could have gotten pretty heavy here on one ticket and made your 250 bucks today and be done with it. Okay, I'm buying more here. I'm going to buy with very tight stops now. Uh, five pip stops. So we to buy scalps here. Get to about $300 of margin. I think I'm still in that gold trade. Maybe I don't know, man. That was just harebrained. I was on that gold chart, and I'm still in the goddamn trade. Look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, the market's closed. They let me put that trade on. They're about to stop me out. That's <laughs> stupid. Look at that. Hey, it looks like it's going up. <laughs> My target is so close. Here, let me turn on the targets. 
the target's going to be yellow green entries blue look at my stop my target on gold I really don't recommend this because of spread. I mean, that's not really... I guess it works. I don't know. Let's see. How to trade the metals. Next next algorithm, we're going to riders and metals. I'm down 27 cents per ticket. I'm only making fun of him to trick people to fall into my click trap. I made you click, see? <laughs> Tricked you. And then we have the infamous two period RSI. So here's your positive reversal. And this, you also have to look for the time frame that's going to trigger your entry. So here on the dollar Swiss, you'd be like, oh, that's one hour chart. Let's see. That looks like we just missed that. That, but see, the spread was wide here, so that's a that's not a real price. The spread was probably the ask was here, the bid was here. Here, I would put a buy limit grid down here. Too much work looking at our side, to be honest with you. I just like to look at stuff and go, oh, I think that's going up. Look, I think this euro's going up. Let's just go trade it. Oh, God. Here, get to the fucking euro. Another problem with all these currency pairs, I just can't get to what I want to get to in time, you know? Okay, so here's the 15 minute chart. We're going sideways. Time to run very tight stops. I'm going to buy with very tight stops. I'm going to get to $300 of margin. Hurry up. It's one minute after the bottom of the hour. Here comes the here comes the big banks. Come on and get those bears. I heard the I talked to ICT and he said that the big banks are coming after the bears tonight. It's kind of like a one of these um secret impeachment hearings you've been hearing about yep we just convicted you you didn't know that you're not allowed to see your accusers what the fuck you talking about? we got a whistleblower at the brokerage firm been watching your account been breaking the FIFO rules haven't you oh, I overshot here I'm into Getting all pissed off about everything. Okay. We loaded the wagon there and let's go to this is the account that I'm in. Here's my performance so far. Let's refresh that. I'll put the link to this thing. This is not this is not a uh, this is all one case. This is not a FIFO torture account hence the it's also high leverage hence the explosion in wealth capable when you're not little old nanny state like we live in oh watch you got a bike helmet on now too yeah man like first in first out's a lot of work so I gotta exercise on my bike to keep keep healthy why's that FIFO? Besides, I gotta have a helmet on just in case. Margin of use is two. That's not right. Oh shit, it's on my tablet. I got the EA that's posting on the tablet, so. Please hold. Okay, it'll update. As soon as it gets a signal from my EA. FX Blue. Um, nice and easy. So we took off here. We started in September. We really started loading in around uh, September 23rd. 
about three weeks of trading here. Average wind is 61%. Um, 62 days, but I really didn't trade this uh, in the beginning. Like, I wasn't, see, I didn't even pull the trigger on this thing till here. Here's my big drawdown. It's down 300 bucks there, and then here, down to 1600. This is I loaded up on the yen trade, and then here I got into some euro trades. Right, so here's the the yen early on. A little bit of pound, a little bit of CAD, not much. I'm all euro. It's the most manipulated currency. Look at I'm making. Uh, 319 trades per day but that that is not true because I didn't even trade here I'm doing about a thousand trades a day here's the, the duration eight hours trade length eight hours huh I did put a bunch of eight-hour scripts in, but I thought this was like an average. I'm making two dollars per ticket. Heads up, though. God, it heads up so much. It's so funny. But there are some. There's some five-dollar winners in here. Here we're taking off. Brace yourself. Buckle up. We're going north. That looks like it. Well, no, that's deceiving. I just booted the thing. So here, let's go look at the. Yeah, it's pretty close. There's not much difference in the account. It's just that I'm on way more margin right now. So this update is going to show way more margin usage right now. Hopefully, just posted. Equity is about the same. We're loaded for bear. Literally. Going after the bears. Okay, now we're talking. I'm in 300. This is the update. Down $24 right now. I'm waiting for some... I'm waiting for a guy with a fat finger to uh, push the market up for me. There, that's that. And um, I just can't get this to scroll. I got too much shit running here. So let me go to... This is forever to get that to, to come down. Let me go to the... Uh, count that on. Here's the um, Americano account. So I'm up 30 bucks now. The euros are winning a little bit. Um, Euro to the pounds winning, right? So I could take that off. Put buy limits in. Even dollar cad's winning. Not so good on the pound. Not so good on this cad. So let's take this cad off. I don't even want to be in the cad. And I didn't even get a chance to see if that was first and first out. If I would have went for the other one, it would have gone. Ear. I think it would have given me the uh, you can't do that sound. Let's just get rid of this, and let's get rid of the pound. Okay, there you go. So I'm in. I'm still in about um, what about 11k here, using a an insane amount of. To be in 11k, they're just they're killing me. But I like being in the euro because I can see my other accounts. Am I winning here? I can do arbitrage in the blink of an eye. I can look over and go, you know what? Let's get into this trade. Less data usage. Um, all sorts of reasons. Here I got the uh, pendings. I got a sell stop in here. That's wrong. I fucked up there. See there? I fucked that up. Those are buy limits they're supposed to be. So another problem is got to go through the platform now. Hunt down that fucking ticket. Delete it. Shouldn't be a sell. Okay. 
Okay. Gotta go deaf listening to that. Um, how loud that is. I usually don't manually trade it. If you deleted it, you wouldn't hear that. It's just because I X'd it out. I wanted to be this into this trade. Right, different sizes. That's what I'm trying to buy the pole back there. Okay, I'm up twenty six bucks. Let's put some different size buy limits on. I got two six Ks in there. Oh well. Let's buy an eight K. Buy a 6K. We don't have one. Another 6K. Wait, we have one. Go fish. Um, we don't have 1K. Put a swing trade on there. I don't know. This euro's turn. This this look at this. If uh, this these were actually in, but these are buy limits now. We have not backed up into that trade. If you can believe it. Look at the retracement on that. Beautiful. Beautiful daily trade. Like, it's down, you're up. That's the one thing No Nonsense fucked up. He didn't understand that you want to buy when it's down and sell when it's up, right? Because he would have sold here without his ATR and bullshit and volume rules. He would have sold there. He would have bought there. A lot better trading. I mean, right there, right there, you knew something was wrong, like he'd fallen on his head as a child or something. And then the he says the worst advice you can give somebody is buy low, sell high. I don't think so. He's so sophisticated. He's got that chess piece is moving around the board on his video. I'm like, wow, it's like magic. The praise that people give him is just astounding. My day's complete now that you've posted another goober-esque video. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Keep up the torture. Flies all green and buzzing in this dungeon of despair. Torture never stops. Okay, so I'm gonna put some more limits in. Let's pick up a let's pick up a uh, sell off. Okay, so there it is, and then we have the infamous. We cannot finish out the cast without taking a peek into the. I guess the mutations that are caused by Mr. No Nonsense has created like a pile of Morlocks at the bottom of the. Here, brace yourself for Discord, people. This is your chance to bow out, but we can get some insight into what's what's troubling these people. VP. VP here. Kind of reminds me of, like, like, uh, Batman and Robin. Robin here. He'd be Robin. I'm waiting for the refresh. Optimizing the people. New messages. My favorite part of the no nonsense forex has to be it is a gold mine it's a blessing trade calls and chat oh we're here what am i thinking these are not vps lists but i related to brexit just for your information regards you must be from britain that's a big thing there cheers Regards. Um, the Queen's speech will be de will be debated by the MPs. Macron, Macron. Does this mean I shouldn't trade? I just, dude, I'm trading. 
I'm sorry. I'm never putting a news filter on my life. What? I, mean, I am going to take off Friday and watch the the, uh, the bar report come in. Just watch the heads pop off the CNN uh, anchors. I want to see their heads explode again. One Trump won, and they were crying. Aw. Should I get you some of those liquid, some liberal tears to oil your oil my gun with? We need more liberal tears to oil our guns. Crucial two days summit. Oh, crucial. I thought that was a memory. Um, special sitting of the parliament. Now shit down. Oh, Johnson. He's like Trump. He's like, give me that fucking steering wheel, you dumb shit. Okay, Euro's going up. Let's hold on to your hat. We're going to make some money tonight, people. That's what I'm talking about. Let's ride this crazy train. The Ozzy Osbourne uh, strategy. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, the current deadline. Ooh, I don't like deadlines. I want it to go on forever. God, this guy's really dialed in. Anticipated date for the extension request to Article 50. Article 49 was cool, but Article 50 is even better. Were they trying to impeach Trump over there in Britain now? Is that the new? Don't you know? He's got crimes all around the planet. Thanks for that. Important dates for sure. <laughs> oh, God, what a polite asshole. Look at thumbs up. Thanks. People are too fucking polite. Why don't people just be honest? Fuck you. Okay, I'll be glad when it's all over. It's been very boring now. Boring? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, does he have a chart of the British pound available to his fucking... What the fuck? I've been boring? You call that boring? Oh. <sighs> Okay, I guess so. What are they? What are they giving out? What kind of controlled substances are available inside this Discord channel that these people can think like that? It's all very boring now. I'm not sure if anyone really gives a shit anymore. I don't. I'm with this guy. <laughs> Having said that, I got a couple of winning trades off of Pound today. Huh. Took my current drawdown from double digits to single. Good work. I hope the market starts to play nice for a while. Uh oh. <laughs> that may not be a good strategy, ask, asking the market to play nice. Europe. Euro, yen, long, and a lot of signals, but ducking and diving with the news. Oh, God, with the news. What did this no-nonsense guy do to people? Avoid news. Dude, avoid trading. Stop it. CPI cad. I also got... Uh, Euro, New Zealand, long, but looks rangy. No, you think? It's always rangy, man. There's... Oh, God, there's so many reasons not to trade. What are we going to do? Interest rates. Well, after Wendy's candles closed. I'm waiting for the end of the day. If it's up, I'll buy. We don't like dissenters here, son. If you're going to trade, if you're going to be in this Discord, you better abide by the Ron L. Hubbard Bible. More stuff to avoid. Why don't they put this in the um, Signals to Avoid channel? 
R.I.P. not paying attention. Oh. Uh, time zones. You mean... I live in daily time frame. Oh. Do you know? Sorry to hear that. I live in Breathe Forex. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Yeah, I meant time zone, huh? No trades on daily for me, though. It's another quiet week for me. I'm saving a lot of money. I haven't lost any money. Just be careful. There's resistance at the level it's at right now. It must go through it or it will be a short. I think he means it's going up. How does he know it'll be a short? It must go through it or it will be a short. No, no, he's gonna, it's going to go down, so he's going to sell into a sell-off. I think. Be interesting to see how that plays out. You know, I would probably just get in before it plays out. It'd be more interesting if you had money on it. Fuck resistance. Yeah, but I didn't take it myself. Another... Yeah, volatility looks a bit low. Okay, and that's a problem? I like when the volatility is low. I want to get in before it gets hot and nasty. Like a humble pie situation. So, yeah. Well, I never watch the charts that way. But I use pivot points on lower time frame. I'll go, oh my God, the pivot point bullshit. Another fucking retarded indicator. Doesn't have shit to do. Nobody makes a trading decision on that. I've never seen a guy go, yeah, I'm getting into this pivot here. No, you're not. Well, what? You can't be. Even if you are, it's stupid. Added them to the daily algo too. S1, R1. Those are bullshit pivots, man. That's complete and utter harebrained bullshit. You think the market sees your fucking stupid pivot? You think that number means any fucking thing? You are so stupid. You are so naive. Maybe you're not stupid. You don't know what the fuck you're doing, that's all. Anyone who's interested in pivot points are levels where the market might reverse. No shit. Might being the operative word. Come on. So that's where the euro... Yeah, on the bid it reverses. Um... If it does reverse, you're looking at bid prices. Last candles, the, the year on the Zealand, what is the spread on that? Three pips all day long. Last candle seems to have resistance. Seems to have resistance, so I don't take the trade. Oh, my God. Also, it would be a little too late for me to join in. I got signals a few candles back. Oh, Jesus, you didn't take it. This is not the right place to take to talk about them, buddy. You better just take your pivot chat and go somewhere else. This is not the right place to talk about them, buddy. Hey, buddy, not gonna, not going more deep into this. Oh, I'm disappointed. Why are people? These people have rules for rules. God, relax, dude. You can be done soon. Have some fun. Interesting to see what happens, though. Oh, God. Here comes the guy. I see. Looked at Forex Factory and, yeah, saw the statements that mattered for the interest rate. You going to base a trade on the interest rate now? Fundamental trading these for a damn good interest rate. I'm thinking about that currency right now. Look at that fucking interest. Honey, look at this interest rate they're getting. This is a fundamentally good trade. We don't do fundamentals here. Cad News wanted one as well. Also, there's oil news. So I would stay away from Cad pairs during those events. God, you got any more reasons not to trade? <sighs> lordy, lordy. Oh, my God. I'm 
currently down 8%. In three weeks of forward testing, there is no way my ELGA will be the same in a week or two. Playing with the some dumb shit indicators settings in ongoing back testing. So hope I can tighten things up a lot. How did this happen to people that they thought they could fucking backtest the market? Backtesting more options as my algo currently gets me in too many losses and clearly into trends too early. No, it was a long signal. Still plenty of time for it. It's too much, man. It's just too funny. Um, sad, actually. It's just sad. People have just been sucked into this nonsense. You know, here, look at this one. Pound has some meeting today. Damn, Pound Pair should have entered on Newsday. Yeah. C1 and C2. You're living inside of a confirmation bubble. A confirmation loop. Anyways, what else we got here? Continuation. Indicators, this should be funny. Oh, wow. Now you want to really lose your mind. Those are people just trying to trade the market. Now we have people trying to find the best indicator. I've heard eight or ten often. I don't know what SSL is. Ooh, that's just past my pay grade. Quite well as a baseline, too. Play around with the settings until you lose your mind. You ever have an anxiety attack fucking with this shit? I got to get to the guy that did the video, see where he's at. Uh, he created a whole... There's there, there's like a thousand people online sometimes here. There's 7,000 members. Volatility indicators. I got a volatility indicator. They're blowing up my account right now. It's my volatility indicator. I'm getting a nice rally. I'm getting ready to spark. Getting ready to perk up here. Take a look at that. <sighs> This is called fly, it's trade by the seat of your pants. Looking to take out this rooftop three hours back on the euro. Okay, back to the back to the algo builders. And no nonsense, you ain't giving out. Here's an algo. If you put thumb screws on him, he ain't giving it away. Oh, God, this poor guy. Look at this. I posted this under volume indicators. Good thing. Thanks for abiding by our category rules. Look at this endless pile of hell. Completed algos. Oh, let's get to that. Example. Your stop loss is 100. Well, that's... <laughs> then you lose 200 pips, 2%. Oh, God, look at this fucking math. Wow. Well, that's how you do it. 2% of your account. Dude, you got to trade the bars that are coming at you. This guy's guy, he's printing the stuff out. Oi. No. It's so harebrained. It's like you're trying to build a spaceship to the moon with toothpicks. Why do these people? Why do they bother? What are they thinking? What's the volume in D? Look, left column is only one year, but what is the difference? And C1 works together with, I like uh, the baseline adjusted to the C1. Has, wow. Oof. Let's take the 85% win rate in left column any day. I'm finding little changes in improving my algo too. Great work, my friend. Go get it. 
Uh oh, ICT's been mentioned. Stand, stand by. My challenge right now is finding a more consistent entry method for long candles. Dude, never get in on a long candle. You've missed the trade. The next day rule is okay, but not great. And I've been using ICT's optimal trade entry method that I adapted for the daily time frame, but it works better on some pairs than others. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. I can see how people want to sell courses to these people and try to help them. But I think that people have to find their way through this and come to their own conclusion. Eyeballing is a sucker game. Hmm. I've eyeballed a lot of things. Is it a sucker's game? Are they tricking me? After this, long time, usually minor tweaks, I put a strategy into forward test. There's a good idea. But this one was a big one, so it's still a long path ahead. Eyeballing is me being lazy at the time. Hmm. Wow. Amazing. Just amazing. Trendline breakouts. Uh-oh, we don't talk trendline breakouts at No Nonsense. We're going to have to stick you in the... Uh, you're going to have to do a little bit of hard time solitary. I also thought about a logical thing such as exit when a pullback happens and jump back in the wave when it starts again. Yeah think so. I like that. Anyways, so let's go back to the um, the USA account. I'm only in the euro dollar here, waiting to get rich. Look at the weekly euro dollar. You think it's good for a rally? Is this the place to get on for the rest of your life and go along? I wonder. 15 minute chart. You know, just pulling back a little bit here. We got a green cloud. A little greenish. This is the triple cloud. Triple. Uh, I like the one hour. I'm going to say we're trapped in a hole here. So, anyways, I'm going to put this five fold ticket. You can play with it. Let's see what happens. That's buying 5 to 30 with a 45 pip stop to make 25. And when I say that, I mean that if it buys here at 30 pips deep, it's kind of a linear. I mean, it gets in 5, then it goes 5 pips to here, and then we're just going to linear get in. 45 pips stop, so if we have a big fat stop. I mean, a big stop in here, but really dollar wise, you're not is going to lose as much money because these are smaller tickets. And this is makes sense to me because tight stop on the big ticket and then of course 25 pips above current when you drop it so you're going to make if this whole thing played out the market dips 5 pips and it goes up 25 pips from where you're at right now it does not go lower than 45 it screams down 30 pips deep it does not take out your 45 it comes all the way up to 25 pips above current price with this ticket right you're going to make you're going to make 55 pips here, risking 45 at the bottom on your biggest ticket. Here you're going to risk, here you're not going to make as many pips because you're going to retrace to here. You're only going to make 45 pips with a 45 pip stop. Here you're risking more, but the size is smaller because you're in the United States. So... The thing is, is that would you buy 25 pips deep? Would you buy 35? Or would you buy these two? Are, these are five pips apart, and the sizing is like that. 
That's the trick, to contour the market to your trade plan. I mean, to contour your trade plan to the market. Also here, you're going to probably want to make this, say, one hour, if you care about that. This is the comments that show up. Um, I turned off the buy stop in the market order. You could have it buy at the market and put limits. You could buy 1K at the market and put a 2K, so you could buy 1K at the market. Open position at the market. If you delete these two uh, forward slashes, it's going to turn on that ticket. So then you have to buy 2, 3, 4, 5K beneath you on limits. You could do that. You could have a 45 pip stop. I'm sorry, 45 pips stop. So there is no, you're, since you're buying at the market, you might want to move this over so the stops line up with the take profit. Which means you have to put a zero in here. You have an 8 pip stop, but you probably want 45 on that. I don't have it turned on right now, but it'll look like this. So it's very complicated in that sense. And you would have your, I'm sorry, it's going to be like this. Um, no, that's right, your take profit. So here, you, if you want to go with the same take profit, you just bought at the market with a 45 pip stop to make 25 pips. Right. This is always the take profit column. This is always your stop loss column. This is always your entry price. But since you're buying at the market, so you compile that, even though we didn't really change the code, but always compile. Can't really see it. It's up at the top of my thing here. Move it down here like this. So you see this compile button. So every time you edit, you got to hit this. It's going to refresh into the platform. So that's it, my FIFO ready ticket. See, it's refreshing the whole rack there. There she is. Let's just double click it. And that's what it looks like. It's going to buy that plunge. Alrighty then, so that's that. I'm just going to put this up for fun, this uh, script I wrote. It's 5-0 ready.